This is an open declaration of acquittal from Allah and his messenger to those of the associators with whom you, O believers, had convent, have covenanted or made any treaties. All treaties stand abrogated. But there are three types and they are going to be discussed one by one. Fasihu fil ardi arba'at ashurin. You can move about in the land, in this peninsula, for four months. Wa'alamu annakum ghayru mu'ajizillah. And be it known to you, you can't defeat Allah. Don't try to resist. وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ مُخْزِ الْكَافِرِينَ And be it known to you that Allah is going to humiliate those who rejected the faith, who rejected Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. وَعَذَانُ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ لَلنَّاسِ يَوْمَ الْحَجِّ الْأَكْبَرِ And it's a proclamation from Allah and His Messenger on the day of the greater pilgrimage. Now there is a very wrong notion about Hajj al-Akbar. People think that if you know Arafah is on Friday it is Hajj al-Akbar. Hajj al-Akbar is Hajj. Hajj al-Asghar is Umrah. So actually it has no special significance if Arafah falls on Friday or Thursday or any or other day. No special. وَعَذَانُوا مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ لَلنَّاسِ يَوْمَ الْحَجِّ الْأَكْبَرِ أَنَّ اللَّهَ بَرِيءٌ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ وَرَسُولُهُ Very clear terms. Allah is acquitted, has nothing to do with any of the treaties with the mushrikeen who are associating other gods to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَإِن تُبْتُمْ فَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ So if you repent, return, accept the deen, this is better for you. And if you turn away, فَعَلَمُوا أَنَّكُمْ غَيْرُ مُوَجِدِ اللَّهِ Then let it be known to you clearly. You cannot frustrate Allah. You cannot defeat Allah. You cannot outwit Allah. You cannot outcome Allah. Overcome Allah. وَإِن تَوَلَّيْتُمْ فَعْلَمُوا أَنَّكُمْ غَيْرُ مُوَجِدِ اللَّهِ وَبَشْرِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِعَذَابٍ أَلِيمٍ And O our Messenger وسلم, give these unbelievers the glad tidings of a very painful torment. Now this four months period was given to those with whom there was treaty but no specified time. A general treaty. So it's very logical that the abrogation of the treaty should not be instantaneous. Some time must be given. Four. Now is the case of those people with whom, those tribes with whom there was a treaty with a specified period for two years. For example, one year, whatever, whatever it can be. So this is now their case. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ أَحَدْتُ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ ثُمَّ لَمْ يَنْقُصُوكُمْ شَيْئًا Except those of the mushrikeen with whom you had a treaty, covenant, that is for a fixed time. ثُمَّ لَمْ يَنْقُصُوكُمْ شَيْئًا And then they had not did anything wrong in their treaties. They have fulfilled all the obligations, honestly, sincerely. They are abiding by all the conditions, terms and conditions of the treaty. And they have not supported anyone against you. This tells you, know, 
this treaty is with some specified period of time. So, you have to fulfill that time must be fulfilled. Atimmu ilayhim ahdahum. Complete their period for them. Ila muddatihim. To the period which was already decided. Idda allaha yuhibbul muttaqeen. Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who regard him, who are conscious of him, who fear him. Faizan salakha la shurul hurum. Now the third. People with whom there was no treaty. The third category. For them, no four months required. Faizan salakha la shurul hurum. As soon as the sacred months come to an end. And the sacred months, you know, there were three for Hajj, Hajjul Akbar, and one for Hajjul Asghar. Rajab for Hajjul Asghar, and Zikada, Zil Hijjah, and Muharram for Hajjul Akbar. What does it mean? It's being pro this proclamation is being made on the 9th and 10th of Zil Hijjah. So now only 40 days. When Muharram comes to an end, Ashurul Haram finish, start. Faizan salakal Ashurul Hurum, Pakhtulul Mushrikina, Haisu Vajatu, Bakhuzuhum, Bakhsuruhum, Bakhudulahum Kulla Marsa. Look to the harshness of the words and never feel apologetic about it. If the whole people of Nuh could be eliminated in one flood, if the whole nation of Ad could be put to an end, Kalam Yagna Fiha, Kotya Dabrul Kamil Lazina Zalamu. If the whole cities of Sodom and Gomorrah could be destroyed, that this has been the rule with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. To whichever nation a messenger was sent, Wama kunna muazzabin hatta nab asa rasoola. Rasool sent. He conveyed the message. He made everything clear. No place of any doubt. Even if now they don't accept, they deserve no mercy of Allah. They are just like the garbage to be burned. This earth should be cleared of them. So the same was the case for these people. Muhammad was from among themselves. Min kum. Huwa ladhi ba'asa fil lumiyina rasoolam min hum. So no leniency. Faizan salakha la shurul hurum. No sooner than these sacred months come to an end, Faktulul Mushrikeen, Hai Subhajatubuhum. Start killing these Mushrikeen wherever you find them. Khuduhum. Seize them, arrest them. Wahsuruhum. Besiege them. Wahudulahum kulla marsar. And sit in wait for them in every place of ambush. فَإِن تَابُوا وَأَقَابُوا الصَّلَاةَ Now if they repent, if they turn to Allah, and what are the two signs? Salah and Zakah. وَأَقَابُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَأَقَابُوا الصَّلَاةَ If they establish prayer and agree to pay Zakah, فَخَلُّوا سَبِيلَهُمْ Now you let them go. In Allah Ghafoor Rahim. Verily Allah is Ghafoor and Rahim. Forgiving and merciful. Now this point is also very important. Because Hazrat Abu Bakr are good on the basis of this ayah. There is another ayah also which will be coming very soon. When in his days of caliphate, some tribes said we, we shall not pay you the zakah. He decided to fight against them. There was some advice, 
سم سنسیئر پیپل ایون حضرت عمر رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ آل دو ہیز اشد فی امر اللہ عمر بٹ ہی اونلی یو نو ہی ایڈوائزڈ دی کنڈیشن آر ناٹ فیوریبل نمبر ون دی پروفٹ ہیز جسٹ ڈائٹ دی ہارٹس آف مسلم آر بلیڈنگ دیئر مورال از ڈاؤن دین یو ہیو ڈسائڈیڈ ٹو سینڈ دی آرمی انڈر اسام آئی بن زید اوکے یو سی بیکاز دی پروفٹ ہیڈ ڈسائڈیڈ اٹ آئی ایم ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو اسٹاپ اٹ اٹ ہیز ٹو گو دین دیز پیپل ہو آر کلیمنگ ٹو بی پروفٹس دے آر کلیئر اپاسٹیٹس گورتد وی ہیو ٹو فائٹ اگینسٹ دیم ناؤ ڈونٹ اوپن این ادر فرنٹ بیکاز دیز پیپل ایٹ لیسٹ دے ہیو ناٹ بلیوڈ ان اینی نیو پروفٹ And let it be known. They didn't say we will not pay zakah. They said we will not pay zakah to you. We shall manage ourselves. Tu khadu min agniyahim wa turaddu ila fuqaraihim. We can do it ourselves. Each type can do it. Collect your own zakah themselves. And then distribute among the poor of the same tribe. We are not going to pay it to you. So be lenient. That was the advice. But Hazrat Abu Bakr argued from this that the minimum conditions at which the Mushrikeen could be let go are three. Yashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammad rasulullah wa yuqeemu salata wa yudhu zakat. I cannot accept anything less than that. No revisionism. Very beautiful words he uttered. Ayyubaddalu deen wa ana hai. Will the deen be changed? And I am still living? If nobody is going, ready to go to fight them, I'll go alone and fight them. Anyhow, this ayah is important in that matter.